All right, hey, quick question. Is there anything that you are currently out of the habit of doing? Like this has been a weird year, lockdown, something's not available. Some things we just kind of took the opportunity to go, you know, I never really enjoyed that or it was really hard work. So I'm just, gonna, I'm gonna use the COVID excuse of, you know, I just don't do that anymore. Or what are those things? What are the things that you've gotten out of the habit of doing? For me, I'll be confessional. I need to make a dentist appointment. You know, I was, a, I was part of the every six month, regular cleaning, checkups, x-rays, all those things. And um, I haven't done that in over a year. So I'll kind of, you know, you rub your, your tongue against the back of your teeth and going, yeah, that feels like some plaque buildup. These are just my confessions. I have personally gotten out of the habit of going to the dentist every six months. What about you? How's the dentist? How's the gym? How's the fill in the blank with whatever the things about habits? Now, does the Bible say anything about habits? Well, look at Hebrews chapter 10, verses 24 and 25. It says, let us consider how we may spur one another on towards love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encourage one another. And all the more as you see the day coming, the day like when God comes back, the day. I believe that coming out of this weird season, we're gonna learn so much more that it's more about connecting than attending. And you can come to a service, sit in a seat, leave and barely talk to anyone, and leave completely unchanged. That's not the kind of church that where you spur one another on in good deeds. That's not the kind of encouraging one another all the more because the day is coming. So let us attend if you can attend. I encourage you to attend. It was good to see everyone in person recently, like this Easter season. Like, all right, we missed you. We're like, oh my goodness, your kids have grown up so much in a year. But beyond just attending, connecting, how are we gonna connect more? How are we gonna find the opportunities to make sure that we are not just an attender, but a connector? And connectors make disciples who make disciples. So let's pray that God would help us in those ways that we would love each other, love God, and serve with humility.